On Saturday night, a banquet hosted by former Commissioner General of the Internal Revenue Commission, Sir Nagoro Bogan, was attended by Lay's business leaders, political heads from the New Generation Party, former Attorney General Keringa Kua, community leaders and top bureaucrats. Keynote speaker Sir Julius Chan told all in attendance that our economy is facing challenging times and the future looks difficult. The first and most basic lesson I learned is one we seem to have forgotten in our country. The success of a country is not measured by GDP growth or by the amount of wealth mined from the land. When it, when it comes to playing the game of politics, the entire goal, the entire purpose of the game is only one thing, the well-being, the health, security and prosperity of the people of the country. Sir Julius Chen is a former Prime Minister and has been in politics for over 50 years, holding many portfolios, including Minister of Finance. He had a lot to say about the current state of the country, but he didn't mince his words when it came to finance. Much of the problem has come from mismanagement of the finances of the government. Something I learned very early before independence was that a government must be cautious. It must be conservative about the future fiscal position. To put it simply, government should never spend money it does not yet have. There has been a lot of criticism about the state of Papua New Guinea's economy. Today at the opening of a mining conference in Sydney, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill told investors that the 2017 budget will be tough on all sectors, but it aims at stability, encourages business and investment growth. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Lay.